Hi everybody, hi ho Silver. Sitting here on a rainy Saturday and uh, just taking a look at some of the very few things I did with Silver this week. I went to the coin store today and I always like that man because he gives me my change in dollar coins and other things. Man, I love that Bicentennial Eisenhower, the backside. So I think I've got like 15 Eisenhowers from him and uh, three more $2 bills. That's pretty cool. Nothing special on the serial numbers, but I like to hang on to those. A couple of Buffalo nickels. And uh, this one here is actually a 1994 proof Kennedy. Man, I love the backside on, uh, on these in the proof. Super cool. And uh, over the months, I've also uh, gotten in change from him a bunch of dollar coins, one Canadian and maybe about 10 uh, Sacagaweas and presidential dollars. Pretty cool. Makes it kind of fun to spend money there. But I only found two things today that I actually purchased, and both are in the vintage category. This one here, it's about a three-quarter ounce silver. Super cool, man. Nice matte finish. It commemorates the 1967 uh, launch of the first 24-hour world communication satellite. Pretty cool, man. 999 silver stamped there on the side. The satellite receiver is in this town called Brewster, Washington, which isn't too far from the bunker. It's got that President Kennedy um, little paragraph there. And uh, it's pretty cool. I haven't seen it, and I'm looking for information on it. I mostly grabbed it because I love the design. Super high relief on that, too. Beautiful piece. Um, if you recognize this maker, let me know. I doubt I'll find any information on it, but I'll give it a shot. The only other thing I grabbed is this 1982 Sunshine Silver. That's back when they were called Sunshine Mining. Pretty cool, man. It's got some nice toning. It's not really showing up on the camera, but uh, one interesting thing on it, it's numbered on the side. Pretty cool. I think that's aftermarket numbering, but I'll look into it. It's um, the old Sunshine Mining stuff is thicker and the diameter is a little smaller, maybe 38 millimeters. Pretty cool. I also got in a package from Provident, and that included the third of the uh, Horsemen of the Apocalypse. This is the uh, Black Horse dudes. Pretty gnarly looking. Not bad, you know. I don't know if I would have done this series if I were to start again, but I do love the backsides on there. Um, I know some people haven't had the greatest luck with the quality from the Golden State Mint that does these, but all mine look pretty good, dudes. Here, when I first ordered that case, that uh, bar capsule was cracked, so they sent me a free one, and uh, they just sent me another free one. I guess that's a good deal. So, into the box those go. One more. That's cool. I like the little short series. I don't want a, another thing where I have to just keep buying them. The only other things I got from Provident were four of these uh, 20 coin display boxes. Pretty cool. Provident's got these on uh, clearance right now for 20 bucks. Um, it adds to the price of the silver, but the, uh, the cool thing is I like to look at my pretty stuff, and those are great for that. And now let's open this mystery box, man. I really don't remember what this is, but we're going to use this Tac Force knife I picked up for four bucks. Super nice toning. Pretty cool. For the price, man, sharp blade. I love those. So this, I was cleaning out one of my coin closets and uh, I found this. You see here, it's a 1993 coin set. That's a proof set from the Royal Australian Mint. A Little bit of schmutz there, but that'll come off. So I'm gonna open this sucker up. I remember now um, that I got the wrong thing from an eBay seller and uh, packaged it up to return and just never sent it back to them. So I still have it. Anybody wants it, you could have it. It's probably worth about 50 bucks. The designs are cool. It's in theme, water is life. Royal Australian Mint Man, cool packaging. That blue stuff is kind of like suede feeling. It's got six coins in it, all different denominations. I don't really collect anything that's not silver, so if anybody wants this, let me know. We'll figure it out. It's probably worth about 50 bucks. All the designs are super cool on it, though. Let's look a little closer. This one, the $2, pretty cool. And the $5, man, I love that little Kiwi guy. One of the best coin designs there is. Here's the 10, nice. 
this one, eh, so-so, but that's all right. That's a $1 coin. And uh, check this one out. This is a great design. I'd love to see this in silver. Wow, beautiful. And the last one, that's your uh, typical little uh, platypus guy, I guess. Not bad. Well, I hope you enjoyed looking at that, dudes. Take care, and we'll see you again.